Rusky's Crypto Cave here, and this is a follow-up video from uh, the last one um, in regards to sw swapping all my rigs over from Hybo S to MMPOS. And then I said I was going to work on getting the dual mining working, and um, it's no fault of MMPOS. It just I wasn't sure exactly how to do it and do it efficiently. Um, I'm still not set up perfectly. I bet you I could probably still tweak it and get it better, um, but I do have it up and working. And pretty much the 3080s, the uh, and all the 3070s are all dual mining, um, lithium and zilliqa. And the way I have it set up, um, I'll just go into the minor profiles. Uh, so when you go in your minor profile, as you see, I do. I only have one set up here. So um, the nice thing is, you know how to create like a bazillion different flight sheets with different overclocks for every single rig and all that stuff. And uh, so I have one minor profile. Um, I thought I was going to do multiple, so that's why I originally named it 3070. And as you'll see, um, we're utilizing um, the feature of custom placeholders, which is the tab right here on your minor profile page. And I did have two. I did set up a second one, um, but I didn't need it, so I just originally started using the first, so I'm just using that one. Um, but you basically set up a new minor profile, which is type a name in here. And you leave the default profile or the default value blank um, so you don't put anything in there um, if you want to set up multiple ones of the custom profiles you could put something in there uh, but then you'll have to do more um, minor profiles as far as that goes so if you set up more custom placeholders um, just leave that blank it's the way to do it um, i found by doing research on the mmpos discord and it actually works very very well um, so back to one of my profiles. This is the one I'm using. So it's lithium, the hero miners, MMPOS, Rigel miner, latest version. Another nice thing too with MMPOS is like you constantly don't have to update your OS uh, to get the latest miner. Um, the dev will update the software and it automatically will switch to the latest version. You don't have to keep constantly downloading it. Now, if by chance the latest version happens to be buggy, you can always go in and select the previous or whatever it is and uh, and update the profile that way to go back in case the new version is buggy um, it doesn't happen that often but it does happen every now and then um, and you, just like the same thing you do in hive os but so let's go into this minor profile because this is the one i'm using go over to advanced um, pull for special coins is going to be zillica so that's where you have your zill pull set up and then down here is all your commands so these are the commands that you can find in now here comes the flashbang boom in the Regal doc, which I will leave a link to this down below, but this will have all the commands and stuff for, for Rigel Miner or Regal Miner or however the hell you say it. doesn't matter. Um, but this is what you, these are all the commands for it. So it's a lithium plus zil. That's in here. Dash O is the, uh, for the pool, basically your server. And the one is for the primary coin, which is a lithium. User is your wallet address. And then rig name, these are all the, the placeholders that are already in MMPOS by default. And then number two is your secondary protocol, which is your um, Zill mining and your Zill mining pool servers and then Zill wallet, all that fun stuff. And then the very last one, custom placeholders, you would just select this. Oops. And it places it there. I'm going to delete that because I don't need it and hit cancel. Now, where you add the information in that you need, because you take notice there was no overclocks in there, and I have it set up that it's going to change the clocks for a lithium. The core clock stays the same for both. Um, I have it set up the core clock will stay the same. Core offset stays the same. But the memory clock I have changing from being locked at 810 on a lithium and then jumping up to 6000 um, on um, Zill mining. It's probably not the most perfect uh, ETH hash um, overclocks, but doesn't have to be because it's only mining for a minute so something's better than nothing so then we go back here to rigs and as you'll see pretty much everything is here and i will just pull up the 3080s so now once you're in your rig you go over to your rig settings which is this little screwdriver and wrench default and this is all the same nothing's adjusted here and under placeholders custom placeholders here this is where you put your overclocks in so core clock 350 offset the lock clock is 1560 on these 3080s lock memory clock the one in the brackets is for primary algorithm which in this case is a lithium so locks the memory clock at 810 
and then the lock M clock with the two in the brackets at 6,000, so that locks the uh, memory at 6,000 for the secondary um, algorithm, which is Zillica in this case. And then that is all you need to do. And you are up and running, essentially. So that's all it's going to do. Then it will, um, as you can see, my hash rate on Zillica was 86 mega hash, which 3080s were probably right around 100 mega hash. So it's slightly less, but and it probably uses just a little bit less power than normal. So good enough for me for the minute, one minute every hour or so that it, that it mines. Um, but that works. So that is pretty much all there is to it, really. Because um, then, like some of these, I, I was going to have like multiple ones, but this is Alf Pool, not even Hero Miners. And then I probably could even just use this one as well. But um, I figured I'd start from scratch and set it up and all that fun stuff. So, um, so basically, just start a miner profile. You just go to miner profiles, add profile, name it, select your coin, and then advance one. Let me just do unnamed. Let's do AI power grid, and then it's just going to you select your miner. So we'll pick Rigel, and then go advanced, blah, 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 blah. So we'll do your secondary coin. This is where you put Zillica. And then this would be Kapow plus Zill, which I believe you could probably do it. Because I think Rigel miner, it's going to flashbang again, um, will do any algorithm they support. So they support um, Abilene, Alethium, Autolycos, which is an Ergo. ETC, ETH hash coins, um, ETH hash B3, which is Hypra, Ironfish, Carlson hash, Kapow, Nexapow, Octopus, Pyron, RXD, and Zillica. And then you could dual or triple mine with all of these. So you could do probably say like a ETH hash coin plus a lithium plus Zillica or like, I don't know, probably Kapow plus um a lithium plus zilica or something along those lines there's probably a whole bunch of different combinations you could probably try but um i'm just doing the lithium and zilica so that is what i am doing um but that is how you utilize custom placeholders and uh, you get up in dual mining or triple mining however you want um, using custom placeholders and that way you don't have to build a bazillion profiles for every single rig and because uh, if we'll hop over to my hive os See here is a whole bunch of crap that's off online. There's only five rigs. 2700 X rig is one I had to move some things around as far as I could get it on a network cable and get it off wireless just because I'm just having issues on the Wi-Fi to get it to, to transfer over. So um, Ethernet cable is best for that. Uh, but if you go into flight sheets, look at all these damn flight sheets. I mean, and, I, and I purged this a lot. I took out a lot of the Ethereum ones. And there's still a shit ton in there. So I left my original Ethereum because I had a little little guy there. Owner's first slice sheet. That was my very first one. Woo! Sentimental value. But anyway, yeah, so you want to have all that crap in there. And it really cleans things up. So um, these are pretty much ones. I'll have to go maybe change some of these other ones around and create some more custom placeholders if I ever switch to like more rigs on Dynax or more rigs on Flux or whatever else I'm going to be mining and stuff so I could create different ones and um, just add the custom placeholders and create the custom placeholders for them so um, very nice very pretty easy to use once you kind of figure it out I did have to like I said go on their discord and do some research on there and, and find it and find out how to use them and it works very well so um, so there it is. If you need to like rewatch the video or stop and pause it, be, be more than welcome to do so. Um, the overclocks and stuff for the different cards are going to be a little bit different, but the memory clocks are pretty much here the same. Let's go to the 3070s. Let's go to placeholders here. So same thing locked at 350. This is 1470. Memory clocks going to be 810 and 6000. Um, for the second algo algorithm, so that's all the same. That none of that stuff changed. So, and that's on, the same as on all the all the 3070 rigs. Um, take notes here; these are plus signs here. So I have all the overclocking turned off in the dashboard, and I'm doing the overclock through the miner, uh, just like just so I could get the switch from um, a lithium overclocks to Zilliqa overclocks when it goes to the miner, and then back again to a lithium. So anyway, that's it for this video. Until the next one. We'll catch you later. Time to go watch the Super Bowl.